For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. No man is righteous of their own. We are all guilty of sin and rebelled against the holy God, who hates iniquity and demands justice. We all deserve punishment for our sin, but God so loved the world that he sent his son Jesus Christ to suffer and die on the cross on our behalf. Jesus never sinned and lived a perfect life of obedience. He was crucified for our sins and for the sins of the whole world. Three days after his sacrifice, God raised Jesus Christ from the dead. He has resurrected to glory and lives forevermore. The Lord Jesus Christ has been given all power and authority. He sent out his followers to go and make disciples of all nations, to proclaim the good news and to teach others to obey everything he commanded them. He is now exalted and sits at the right hand of God. God has appointed a day to righteously judge the whole world by Jesus Christ whom he has ordained. We are called to preach the gospel and to warn all of mankind, to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, that you may receive the Holy Ghost. By grace and through faith we are justified and reconciled back to God. Grace is not an excuse to continue in sin, but through faith God has given us the power to be dead to sin. The righteousness of every man is filthy as rags, so that no man can boast. Blessed is the man who forsakes his sin and puts trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Cursed is the man who forsakes the faith and puts trust in his own good works. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We encourage everyone not to sin, and if any man does sin, we have an advocate with our Father. He is Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is the propitiation of our sins, and not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. Those who reject the Lord Jesus Christ and the message of His mercy will be rejected on the great day of judgment.